Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode I would like to explain corneal abrasions because this is a very common problem. We see it a lot and it can be very painful to the patients that suffer an abrasion. So to remember the cornea is the clear shield that covers over the front of the eye. This cornea is made up of many layers and the very top layer is what we call the epithelium. This is the surface of the eye and it is about 10% of the thickness of the whole cornea and it is not very well attached to the underlying layers because it always changes over a little bit like our skin and it can be scraped or removed if the eye is hit. Now a lot of times we could see this if someone gets poked in the eye or gets their eye scratched either by a hand, a fingernail, or even uh, some things that could fly into the eye. And if this happens, then the surface could be removed, what we call a corneal abrasion. Uh, this is extremely painful. Uh, we've seen people that you think would be very tough and have a very high pain tolerance be crying and um, just unbearable pain due to an abrasion. Uh, the cornea is one of the most highly innervated places of the body and actually has more nerves per the area than anywhere else. So because of this, the pain can be extreme and it can feel like something's in the eye, like a big rock or a, a big scratch on the eye. So when we see this, we can diagnose it by looking with a microscope and then the treatment is putting ointment or drops on the eye to help make it more comfortable and allowing it to heal naturally. Fortunately, this does heal very quickly. It can heal in all directions, one millimeter in about 10 hours. So because of this, it can move quickly and help close in that spot. But as long as there's still an opening on the surface, the pain is still there. With this, uh, some people may need to take pain medicine by mouth, although it's tough to treat this kind of pain in the eye with pain medicine since it doesn't seem to do a great job with it. Other things that can work are a special bandage contact lens that's placed over the eye, or sometimes people will have their eye patched close to try and help it heal and maybe make them a little bit more comfortable. A lot of times this can be up to the patient to see what works best for them. But ultimately, the number one thing for healing, it just takes time. And after that, people could be prone to recurrent corneal erosions. If you look back to older episodes of A State of Sight, which can recur after a corneal abrasion. So if you have any questions about this painful eye problem, please post. We'd be happy to answer your questions. And until next time on A State of Sight, good health and good sight.